Oh, we're already prepared. But let me sharpen your knowledge and arm your ship. You have five seconds to think quickly. Good luck, Posado Kana. One to 150 board questions drills. I generated an AI voice because I know you've an intense review in the past days. Take your time in answering. 16 days to go. Fight. 1. What is the primary function of Portland cement in concrete? A. Add color to concrete. B. Act as a bonding material. C. Provide stability. D. Increase porosity. Correct answer, B. Portland cement acts as a bonding material when mixed with water. 2. Why is seashore sand not suitable for concrete? A. It is too fine. B. It contains a weakening chemical. C. It is expensive. D. It lacks proper color. Correct answer, B. Seashore sand is not suitable due to its containing a weakening chemical. 3. What is the purpose of coarse aggregates in concrete? A. Add fine particles to the mix. B. Enhance the color of concrete. C. Act as filler between fine aggregates. D. Increase water content. Correct answer. D. Coarse aggregates act as fillers between fine aggregates, enhancing stability. 4. What factor is most crucial in determining the strength of a concrete mixture? A. Type of cement. B. Size of aggregates. C. Amount of water. D. Mixing platform used. Correct answer. C. The amount of water is crucial in determining the strength of a concrete mixture. 5. How does too much water affect concrete strength? A. Increases strength. B. Enhances porosity. C. Improves bonding. D. Reduces strength by 25% to 50%. Correct answer. D. Too much water can reduce concrete strength by 25% to 50%. 6. In the Class A concrete mixture, 1.2.4, what does the ratio 1.2.4 represent? A. Cement, sand, gravel. B. Sand, gravel, cement. C. Gravel, cement, sand. D. Sand, Cement, gravel. Correct answer, A. The ratio 1.2.4 in class A represents cement, sand, dot gravel. 7. What is the recommended time frame for pouring mixed concrete after mixing? A within one hour, B, within 30 minutes, C, after 24 hours, D, after 48 hours. Correct answer, B, mixed concrete should be poured within 30 minutes to avoid issues. Eight. What tool is essential for transporting aggregates in hand mixing? A. Trowel. B. Measuring box. C. Wheelbarrow. D. Spade. Correct answer. C. 
Wheelbarrow is essential for transporting aggregates and hand mixing. 9. Why is it crucial to avoid water containing mud, oil, alkali, and other matters in concrete? A. Enhances bonding. B. Prevents chemical reactions. C. Increases porosity. D. Ensures clean appearance. Correct answer. C. Avoiding impurities in water is crucial to prevent increased porosity in concrete. 10. What is the purpose of a plumb level in concrete work? A. Transport aggregates. B. Ensure vertical alignment. C. Measure water. D. Mix concrete thoroughly. Correct answer. B. A plumb level ensures the vertical alignment of concrete structures. 11. What is the primary function of an auger bit? A. Boring holes in wood. B. Driving nails. C. Cutting wood. D. Measuring angles. Correct answer. A. Auger bits are designed for boring holes in wood. 12. When would you use an expansive bit? A. Boring holes less than 2.5 cm diameter. B. Driving nails. C. Boring holes more than 2.5 cm diameter. D. Cutting wood. Correct answer. C. Expansive bits are used for boring holes in wood with a diameter more than 2.5 centimeters. 13. What is the purpose of a brace in woodworking? A. Driving nails. B. Measuring angles. C. Cutting wood. D. Boring holes in wood. Correct answer. D. A brace is used for holding bits when boring holes in wood. 14. What is the main function of a hand drill? A. Boring holes with a drill bit more than one quarter inch in diameter. B. Driving nails. C. Cutting wood. D. Boring holes with a drill bit not more than one quarter inch in diameter. Correct answer. D. A hand drill is used for boring holes with a drill bit not more than one quarter inch in diameter. 15. When would you use a brad awl? A. Driving nails. B. Cutting wood. C. Boring large holes. D. Making small holes for screws and nails. Correct answer. D. A braid awl is used for making small holes in wood for screws and nails. 16. What is the primary purpose of an electric drill? A. Driving nails. B. Cutting wood. C. Boring holes with a desired size using a drill bit. D. Measuring angles. Correct answer. C. An electric drill is electrically operated and used to bore holes with a desired size using a drill bit. 17. Why does an electric drill require regular maintenance? A. To prevent rusting. B. To improve aesthetics. C. To prolong the life of the drill. D. To reduce noise. Correct answer. C. Regular maintenance is necessary to prolong the life of an electric drill. 18. What is the primary purpose of a claw hammer? A. Driving nails. B. Boring holes. C. Cutting wood. 
D-measuring angles. Correct answer. A. A claw hammer is primarily used for driving nails, with the claw for pulling out nails. 19. When would you use a mallet in woodworking? A. Driving nails. B. Boring large holes. C. Preventing handle breakage on a chisel. D. Cutting wood. Correct answer. C. A mallet is used to prevent the handle of a chisel from breaking. 20. What is the function of a framing square? A. Boring holes. B. Driving nails. C. Cutting wood. D. Measuring angles. Correct answer. D. A framing square is used for measuring angles in woodworking. 21. What is the primary use of an orange wood stick? A. To cut nails. B. To shape nails. C. To clean nails. D. To push back cuticles and apply products. Correct answer. D. Orange wood stick is primarily used to push back cuticles and apply products to the nail and cuticle. 22. When would you use a nail buffer? A. To trim the cuticle. B. To cut the nails. C. To smoothen the top portion of the nail plate. D. To push back cuticles. Correct answer. C. A nail buffer is used to smoothen the top portion of the nail plate. 23. What is the purpose of a cuticle nipper? A. To trim the cuticle. B. To push back cuticles. C. To shape the free edge. D. To clean the nail. Correct answer. A. Cuticle nipper is used to trim the cuticle. 24. When is an emery board used? A. To push back cuticles. B. To shape the free edge. C. To trim the cuticle. D. To clean the nails. Correct answer. B. Emery board is used to shape the free edge of the fingernails. 25. What does a tweezers do in nail care? A. Trim the cuticle. B. Lift small bits of cuticle. C. Shake the free edge. D. Clean the nails. Correct answer. B. Tweezers are used to gently lift small bits of cuticle. 26. Why would you use a nail cutter? A. To trim the cuticle. B. To shape the free edge. C. To cut the nails. D. To push back cuticles. Correct answer. C. Nail cutter is used to cut the nails. 27. What is the primary purpose of a nail brush? A. To trim the cuticle. B. To shape the free edge. C. To push back cuticles. D. To clean the nail. Correct answer. D. Nail brush is primarily used to clean the nails. 8. How is a nail file used? A. To shape and smooth the free edge. B. To push back cuticles. C. To trim the cuticle. D. To clean the nails. Correct answer. A. A nail file is used to shape and smooth the free edge of the nail. 29. What does a cuticle pusher do? A. Trim the cuticle. B. Push back and loosen the cuticle. C. Shape the free edge. D. Clean the nails. Correct answer. B. Cuticle pusher is used to push back and loosen the cuticle. 30. What is the function of a top coat or top sealer? A. Applied before the liquid nail polish. B. Used to thin out thickened nail polish. C. Prevents nails from splitting or peeling. D. Protects the polish and minimizes chipping or cracking. Correct answer. D. Top coat or top sealer is applied to protect the polish and minimize chipping or cracking. 31. When is a base coat applied? A. Before the liquid nail polish. B. After applying the top coat. C. To trim the cuticle. D. To shape the free edge. Correct answer. A. 
Base coat is applied before the liquid nail polish. 32. What is the purpose of a nail strengthener? A. To protect the polish. B. To minimize chipping or cracking. C. To prevent nails from splitting or peeling. D. To shape the free edge. Correct answer. C. Nail strengthener is designed to prevent nails from splitting or peeling. 33. Why would you use a nail dryer? A. To trim the cuticle. B. To shape the free edge. C. To protect the nail against stickiness and dulling. D. To clean the nails. Correct answer. C. Nail dryer is used to protect the nail against stickiness and dulling. 34. In which situation would ordinary or day makeup be most appropriate? A. Attending a formal evening event. B. Going to work or church. C. Participating in a theatrical performance. D. Posing for a photo shoot. Correct answer. B. Ordinary or day makeup is most appropriate for going to work or church. 35. When is evening makeup or heavy makeup recommended? A. For a nighttime event. B. At a business meeting. C. During a casual day. D. When going to the gym out. Correct answer. A. Evening makeup or heavy makeup is recommended for nighttime events. 36. What is the purpose of photographic makeup? A. Everyday casual wear. B. Appearing attractive in pictures. C. Enhancing features for a theater performance. D. Complementing the color of the dress. Correct answer. B. Photographic makeup is used to appear attractive in pictures. 37. What can stage screen theatrical makeup achieve? A. Everyday natural look. B. Cinematic effects on the face. C. Light and simple appearance. D. Darker shades for a glowing effect. Correct answer. B. Stage screen theatrical makeup achieves cinematic effects on the face. 8. When is makeup usually given in relation to a facial massage? A. Before a facial massage. B. It depends on the client's preference. C. During a facial massage. D. After a facial massage. Correct answer. D. Makeup is usually given after a facial massage. 39. Where is the patron typically positioned during makeup application? A. Standing up. B. Lying down with the head slightly raised. C. Sitting with the head tilted forward. D. Upside down for better access. Correct answer. B. The patron is typically reclined in a facial chair with the head slightly raised during makeup application. 40. What is the primary purpose of applying astringent lotion or skin toner? A. Moisturizing the face. B. Removing excess foundation. C. Setting the makeup. D. Cleansing and toning the skin. Correct answer. D. Astringent lotion or skin toner is used for cleansing and toning the skin. 41. How should foundation be applied? A. In a downward motion. B. Vigorously rubbed onto the face. C. Evenly over the entire face with a gentle upward motion. D. Only on the cheeks and chin. Correct answer. C. Foundation should be applied evenly over the entire face with a gentle upward motion. 42. What is used to apply blush on? A. Fingertips. B. Sanitized soft brush. C. Eyebrow pencil. D. Cotton pledgets. Correct answer. B. A sanitized soft brush is used to apply blush on. 43. What is the purpose of applying eyeshadow? A. To darken the eyebrows. B. To complement the color of the dress. C. To highlight the lips. D. To match or complement the eyes. Correct answer. D. Eyeshadow is applied to match or complement the eyes. 44. How can eyeliner be used to enhance the eyes? A. To make eyes look smaller. B. To make the eyes appear distant. C. To make eyes look larger and lashes appear thicker. D. To change the eye color.
Correct answer. C. Eyeliner can be used to make the eyes look larger and lashes appear thicker. 45. In which division of horticulture are vegetables primarily grown? A. Pomology. B. Floriculture. C. Olariculture. D. Landscape horticulture. Correct answer. C. Olariculture. 46. What is the focus of plant industry in agriculture? A. Growing staple crops. B. Raising animals for meat. C. Propagation of ornamental plants. D. Farm engineering techniques. Correct answer. A. Plant industry focuses on growing staple crops and fiber crops. 47. Which branch of agriculture involves the farming of fresh and saltwater organisms? A. Horticulture. B. Plant industry. C. Animal industry. D. Aquaculture fishery. Correct answer. D. Aquaculture fishery involves the farming of freshwater and saltwater organisms. 48. What aspect of agriculture is concerned with business considerations? A. Horticulture. B. Aquaculture. C. Agricultural economics. D. Farm engineering. Correct answer. C. Agricultural economics deals with the business aspects of agriculture. 49. Where are engineering techniques applied in agriculture? A. Plant industry. B. Aquaculture. C. Farm engineering. D. Animal industry. Correct answer. C. Farm engineering applies engineering techniques to agriculture. 50. Besides providing food, what role do plants play in the environment? A. Producing oxygen. B. Increasing wind speed. C. Decreasing temperature. D. Absorbing carbon dioxide. Correct answer. A. Besides providing food, plants produce oxygen. 51. How do plants contribute to slowing wind speed? A. By releasing carbon dioxide. B. By producing oxygen. C. By reducing evaporation. D. By increasing transpiration. Correct answer. D. Plants reduce wind speed by increasing transpiration. 52. What is a significant function of plants for the environment? A. Increasing wind erosion. B. Providing shelter. C. Enhancing global warming. D. Reducing atmospheric humidity. Answer. D. Plants contribute to reducing atmospheric humidity. 53. What is the primary role of plants in providing shelter? A. Shielding from sunlight. B. Acting as a habitat for animals. C. Reducing wind speed. D. Producing building materials. Correct answer. B. One of the significant functions of plants is providing shelter, acting as a habitat for animals. 54. What is the primary function of the root system in plants? A. Conducting photosynthesis. B. Supporting leaves and reproductive structures. C. Storing manufactured food. D. Anchoring the plant and absorbing water. Correct answer. D. The root system in plants anchors the plant and absorbs water. 55. What is the function of the epidermis in the root? A. Absorption of water. B. Storage of starch. C. Protection for the root tip. D. Transporting water and nutrients. Correct answer. C. The epidermis in the root provides protection for the root tip. 56. Which type of root system has a primary root growing down with small secondary roots forming? A. Fibrous root system. B. Tap root system. C. Adventitious root system. D. Aerial root system. Correct answer. B. Tap root system has a primary root growing down with small secondary roots forming. 57. What is the function of the stem in plants? A. Transporting water and minerals. B. Conducting photosynthesis. C. 
Anchoring the plant. D. Absorbing water and nutrients. Correct answer. A. The stem in plants transports water and minerals while supporting leaves and reproductive structures. 58. In which type of grafting does the rootstock approach the cyan while still attached to the mother plant? A. Approach grafting. B. Inarching grafting. C. Bark grafting. D. Side veneer grafting. Correct answer. A. Approach grafting involves the rootstock approaching the cyan while still attached to the mother plant. 59. Which type of grafting is commonly used on flowering and fruit trees, applying to rootstock of large diameter? A. Inarching grafting. B. Bark grafting. C. Splice grafting. D. Saddle grafting. Correct answer. B. Bark grafting is used on flowering and fruit trees, applying to rootstock of large diameter. 60. What is the most popular way to graft conifers, usually done on potted rootstock? A. Side veneer grafting. B. Approach grafting. C. Whip and tongue grafting. D. Saddle grafting. Correct answer. A. Side veneer grafting is the most popular way to graft conifers, usually done on potted rootstock. 61. Which grafting technique applies to herbaceous materials that callus or knit easily? A. Splice grafting. B. Whip and tongue grafting. C. Saddle grafting. D. Bridge grafting. Correct answer. A. Splice grafting applies to herbaceous materials that callus or knit easily. 62. What is the purpose of bridge grafting? A. Uniting rootstock and cyan. B. Tilling and pulverizing soil. C. Bridging a diseased or damaged area of a plant. D. Joining cyan to the mother plant. Correct answer. C. Bridge grafting is used to bridge a diseased or damaged area of a plant. 63. In which grafting technique is a single bud from the desired cyan used instead of the entire cyan? A. Approach grafting. B. Bark grafting. C. Saddle grafting. D. Budding. Correct answer. D. Budding is a graft technique using a single bud from the desired cyan. 64. When is inarching grafting typically used? A. To bypass a damaged area of a tree trunk. B. On flowering and fruit trees. C. On conifers in a nursery. D. To bridge diseased areas of a plant. Correct answer. A. Inarching grafting is typically used to bypass a damaged area of a tree trunk. 65. What does saddle grafting involve? A. Joining cyan and rootstock on the mother plant. B. Making furrows and inter-row cultivation. C. Making a deep cleft in the cyan and stock. D. Bridging a damaged area at the base of the trunk. Correct answer. D. Saddle grafting involves making a deep cleft in the cyan and stock, bridging a damaged area at the base of the trunk. 66. What does whip and tongue grafting commonly apply to? A. Citrus plants. B. Conifers in a nursery. C. Nursery crops or woody ornamentals. D. Flowering and fruit trees. Correct answer. C. Whip and tongue grafting commonly applies to nursery crops or woody ornamentals. 67. What is the primary purpose of budding and grafting? A. Bridging diseased areas. B. Uniting rootstock and cyan. C. Tilling and pulverizing soil. D. Using a single bud for grafting. Correct answer. D. Budding primarily involves using a single bud for grafting. 68. What is the primary purpose of a plow in horticultural operations? A. Harvesting crops. B. Tilling large areas and making furrows. C. Pulverizing the soil. D. Irrigating the fields. Correct answer. B. A plow is used for tilling large areas and making furrows.
69. Which harrow is made of metal mounted to a tractor? A. Native wooden harrow. B. Disc harrow. C. Rotivator. D. Plow. Correct answer. B. A disc harrow is made of metal mounted to a tractor. 70. What is a harrow primarily used for? A. Tilling large areas. B. Making furrows. C. Pulverizing the soil. D. Planting seeds. Correct answer. C. A harrow is primarily used for pulverizing the soil. 71. What is a rotivator attached to and used for? A. Carabao for tilling. B. Tractor for irrigation. C. Tractor for tilling and pulverizing the soil. D. Plow for inter-row cultivation. Correct answer. C. A rotivator is attached to a tractor and used for tilling and pulverizing the soil. 72. Which farm implement is specifically used for tilling and pulverizing the soil? A. Plow. B. Harrow. C. Rotivator. D. Disc harrow. Correct answer. A. A plow is specifically used for tilling and pulverizing the soil. What type of learning involves the foundation of experiencing learning through the senses? A. Contrived experiences. B. Demonstrations. C. Verbal symbols. D. Direct purposeful experiences. Correct answer. D. Direct purposeful experiences involve the foundation of experiencing learning through the senses. Which category uses representations like models or mock-ups as substitutes for things beyond learner's grasp? A. Demonstrations. B. Study trips. C. Contrived experiences. D. Exhibits. Correct answer. C. Contrived experiences use representations like models or mock-ups as substitutes for things beyond learner's grasp. 75. In dramatized experiences, what activity allows students to actively participate in a reconstructed experience? A. Role-playing. B. Manipulating exhibits. C. Observing situations. D. Demonstrating procedures. Correct answer. A. Dramatized experiences allow students to actively participate in a reconstructed experience through role-playing or dramatization. 76. What is the most appropriate type of experience when one decides to show how things are done? A. Still pictures. B. Demonstrations. C. Visual symbols. D. Study trips. Correct answer. B. Demonstrations involve the actual execution of a procedure or process to show how things are done. 77. What involves actual visits to certain locations to observe situations not available inside the classroom? A. Exhibits. B. Demonstrations. C. Study trips. D. Dramatized experiences. Correct answer. C. Study trips involve actual visits to certain locations to observe situations not available inside the classroom. 78. Which category includes displays like pictures, artifacts, and posters, providing information to be viewed? A. Demonstrations. B. Contrived experiences. C. Exhibits. D. Verbal symbols. Correct answer. C. Exhibits include displays like pictures, artifacts, and posters that provide information to be viewed. 79. What provides a two-dimensional reconstruction of reality through mediated tools like television? A. Still pictures. B. Dramatized experiences. C. Verbal symbols. D. Television and motion pictures. Answer. D. Television and motion pictures provide a two-dimensional reconstruction of reality through mediated tools like television. 80. Which category involves displays allowing viewers to manipulate or interact with the content? A. Visual symbols. B. Exhibits. C. Television and motion pictures. D. Contrived experiences.
Correct answer. B. Exhibits include displays allowing viewers to manipulate or interact with the content. 81. What are still pictures and audio recorded materials examples of? A. Demonstrations. B. Radio. C. Visual symbols. D. Verbal symbols. Correct answer. B. Still pictures and audio recorded materials are examples of radio. 82. In Bruner's three-tiered model of learning, which step involves a series of symbols? A. Inactive. B. Iconic. C. Symbolic. D. Direct purposeful experiences. Correct answer. C. In Bruner's three-tiered model of learning, the symbolic step involves a series of symbols. 83. What does TPACK stand for in the context of teaching? A. Technical, pedagogical, and curriculum knowledge. B. Technological, pedagogical, and content knowledge. C. Teaching, planning, and curriculum knowledge. D. Technological, practice, and curriculum knowledge. Correct answer. B. TPACK stands for technological, pedagogical, and content knowledge. 84. Which knowledge area of TPACK involves understanding the what in teaching, such as facts and concepts in a discipline? A. Content knowledge, CK. B. Pedagogical knowledge, PK. C. Technological knowledge, TK. D. Teaching knowledge, TK. Correct answer. A. Content knowledge, CK, involves understanding the what in teaching, such as facts and concepts in a discipline. 85. How does TPACK contribute to teaching in the 21st century? A. By emphasizing only content knowledge. B. By segregating technological knowledge from pedagogical knowledge. C. By showing the interconnectedness of content, pedagogical, and technological knowledge. D. By focusing solely on student motivation. Correct answer. C. TPACK contributes to teaching by showing the interconnectedness of content, pedagogical, and technological knowledge. 86. What does CK content knowledge mainly encompass? A. Understanding. How. To teach. B. Understanding the content in a given discipline. C. Implementing technological tools. D. Assessing student motivation. Correct answer. B. CK content knowledge mainly encompasses understanding the content in a given discipline. 87. What is PK pedagogical knowledge concerned with? A. Understanding. What? To teach. B. Understanding the content in a given discipline. C. Knowing effective teaching methods and strategies. D. Implementing technological tools. Correct answer. C. PK pedagogical knowledge is concerned with knowing effective teaching methods and strategies. 88. What does the unit title mainly do? A. Describes building blocks. B. Outlines what is done in the workplace. C. Specifies evaluative statements. D. Provides the curriculum context. Correct answer. B. Rationalization. The unit title defines the area of competency. 89. What does the unit descriptor help differentiate? A. Critical aspects of competency. B. Range of variables. C. Elements and performance criteria. D. Competencies with similar titles. D. Rationalization. The unit descriptor helps differentiate competencies with similar titles. 90. What are elements in a unit of competency? A. Descriptive outcomes. B. Evaluative statements. C. Building blocks. D. Range of variables. Correct answer. C. Rationalization. Elements describe in output terms the functions that a person working in a particular area can perform. 91. What is the role of performance criteria? A. Describes curriculum or context. B. Provides evaluative statements. C. 
specifies required level of performance. D. Defines boundaries within the unit applies. Correct answer. C. Rationalization. Performance criteria specify what is assessed and the required level of performance. 92. What does range of variable describe? A. Estimated training hours. B. Curriculum context. C. Boundaries within the unit applies. D. Situations that should be the focus of assessment. Correct answer. D. Rationalization. Range of variable describes the curriculum or context in which the work is to be performed. 93. What must the evidence plan be related directly to? A. Elements and performance criteria. B. Curriculum context. C. Range of variables. D. Learning outcomes. Correct answer. A. Rationalization. The evidence plan must be related directly to the elements and performance criteria and range of variables. 94. What does the critical aspect of competency identify as essential for successful performance? A. Range of variables. B. Curriculum context. C. Productive evidence and knowledge evidence. D. Evidence plan. Correct answer. C. Rationalization. The critical aspect of competency identifies the essential productive and knowledge evidence. 95. What does nominal duration represent? A. Curriculum context. B. Estimated training hours. C. Learning outcomes. D. Range of variables. B. Rationalization. Nominal duration is the estimated suggested number of training hours per module. 96. How should learning outcomes be written? A. In passive voice. B. In a narrative form. C. As a statement of learner achievements. D. As a question. As a statement of learner achievements. 97. What does assessment criteria list? A. Range of variables. B. Criteria for judging learning outcome achievement. C. Critical aspects of competency. D. Curriculum context. Correct answer. B. Rationalization. Assessment criteria list criteria by which the achievement of the learning outcome will be judged. 98. What does content include? A. Curriculum context. B. Estimated training hours. C. Specific knowledge, skills, attitudes, and safety. D. Range of variables. Correct answer. C. Rationalization. Content includes specific knowledge, skills, attitudes, and safety necessary to achieve learning outcomes. 99. What does conditions specify in training? A. Curriculum context. B. Learning outcomes. C. Estimated training hours. D. List of tools and equipment, access to learning resources. Correct answer. D. Rationalization. Conditions specify the context of the training, including a list of tools and equipment. 100. What does basting involve in cooking? A. Adding breadcrumbs to coat. B. Mixing two or more ingredients. C. Moistening food while cooking. D. Cutting into cubes. Answer. C. Rationalization. Basting involves moistening meat or other foods while cooking to add flavor and prevent drying. Comment your name, scores, with LPT. Thank you.